What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. And tonight I'll be checking out The Fiend attacking Braun Strowman. Uh, he's back at it again. Uh, once again, attacking people. This time it's not a legend. It's a current uh, WWE uh, superstar wrestler at this point. Um, and I'm liking where they're going with this. With him, Seth Rollins, and how... He's basically going after people that are around Seth Rollins, not in like a, a a helping way, but just wrong place, wrong time. And this is one of those situations. I was hoping this was going to happen when they announced they were having a match tonight. And now that we know Rey Mysterio will be challenging uh, Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship next week, we have a clear good indication that he's probably going to attack ray he's not even attacking seth he could but he's not and i like that that's that's it's really dope just to see that aspect of the the psychological warfare he's playing mind games with seth um i wasn't able to find a good clip of the firefly funhouse for tonight he um dropped another firefly funhouse on raw uh i saw it um while i was watching it on dvr once again that's the best thing known to mankind dvr you can fast forward to the best part so i saw that and um it was dope just seeing all the pictures of the people that he's attacked just hanging them up on the wall and he had a new one but it was all black and i'm guessing braun is gonna be on that picture uh, uh for next week if he does another fire uh firefly funhouse next week so i like that i like the little imagery they had with seth like a seth action figure seth rollins action figure and rambling rabbit was fighting with uh i don't know the other character's name comment down below the pig character I don't know, i'm not sure of his name they were fighting uh on who was gonna get the seth rollins action figure and pretty much bray just split them apart and he's like everyone can have you know everyone can share uh seth rollins and then he just switches just like that he just goes to the straight evil look so that was pretty dope and this was also pretty dope this little segment right here so let's get into it man i, I appreciate all the love and support and all the new subscribers that have subscribed to the to my personal channel and um i'm just gonna try to keep bringing all the best content possible man so let's get right into it check it out Just exercising his personal demons, getting over the losses at Clash of Champions, looking to make things right. <laughs> I like how once the lights go down, like the crowd gets all excited and amped up. I even got a, a little bit excited as I was watching this. Just knowing he's coming, like that's dope. It's crazy, man. He's easily one of the best things on WWE television. And it's it's just so dope to see his character just really flourishing like that. I heard his merchandise sold out. Like his t-shirts and stuff, they already sold out on WWEshop.com. It's like the hottest selling thing they have right now. And then I like this. He, he just stalks Seth. Doesn't attack him, doesn't put a hand on him, he just stalks him. <laughs> Look at Seth's face, bro. <laughs> Where's Becky Lynch when you need her? Where's the man when you need her? Becky, baby, help me. The scary man with the mask, he's coming to get me. <laughs> Becky, baby, please help me. The scary man, the big bad boogeyman Bray is coming to get me. Please help me, Becky. Oh, man. I thought that was a little, little funny to me. Like, why is he screaming like that? <gasps> I like that. Braun tried to get him some 
some payback and the fiend's like, nah, boy, get your big ass to sleep. I just like it, man. It's just so, so creepy and just like, it's dope. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's, he's so animalistic. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's cool to see something different. And then I think at this point, the crowd starts to chant, holy shit. Yep. <laughs> Look at Seth, bro. Look at Seth. What's happening, man? What the hell? I don't. He's just laying in the corner, bro. Just. If I close my eyes and pretend he's not there, maybe he'll disappear. But this was dope, though. This was a nice last image of the show. That was pretty cool. And then it just cuts. And you have his little demonic laughter at the end. Perfect, man. I I'm liking this. Just playing with Seth Rollins. Seth doesn't know what to do. And I love every bit of it he he has no idea how to really face this threat um he's just kind of he's just really in this state of what do i do like he's in, interfering in my matches he's like pretty much making it seem like nah seth i want you to understand you're my bitch <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the only thing I, I've gotten from this whole interaction. Seth is really the fiend's bitch at this point. Um, I'm all for him. Once again, getting the championship. I think they're going to go with him being the universal champion. Once again, I know it's kind of soon, but he's the hottest thing right now. Seth Rollins is kind of stale at this point. Why not go ahead and just, uh, you know, have him be the guy have him be the champ and see where see where it goes see where he's able to take the championship but at this point i'm just looking forward to that hell in a cell match i want to see how they're gonna book him against seth rollins because of course they're gonna try to make seth rollins look strong but right now seth even though he's a fighting champion he's been definitely looking kind of like a, a a scared a scared grown man you know what I'm saying? Like, he needs Becky Lynch to check under the bed for him. But who can blame him when you got somebody like Bray Wyatt coming at you with a fucking scary-ass mask on? Like, I'd be terrified, too. But, like, hey, man, here, have the belt, bro. I don't want this shit. I, I need to go home. I'm I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm the best in the world in wrestling from what Seth says. But when it comes to The Fiend, I don't want no parts of that. You know what I'm saying? So... It's cool. I'm looking forward to it. What y'all think about this segment? Are y'all looking forward to their Hell in a Cell match? Comment down below. Let me know if y'all are interested in seeing that match. I probably will be checking out Hell in a Cell specifically for that match and the Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks match. Those are the matches I'm really looking forward to checking out at Hell in a Cell. I think those should be the only two matches that take place in Hell in a Cell. Everything else should be outside of it. And we'll see what happens on... Um, in the next uh in the upcoming weeks where they take the storyline and i will be bringing my y'all uh, my reaction and just my review on uh on how i feel about the storyline and how i feel about the way they're booking bray wyatt so i appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace mm -hmm.